guys. It's uh, night time here in Queensland, but I just wanted to show you what was at the bird feeders. I know it's a little bit grainy because I'm zooming in. Two possums. A mother and a baby possum eating at our bird feeder. Let me see if I can get any closer to them. They look they look like ringtail possums. Look at those big eyes. And they've usually got a little white tip at the end of their tail. And it's kind of curled over. Like a little ring. That's where they get their name from. Sorry it's so grainy. I'll zoom out a little bit. Maybe it can be a bit clearer for you. It's okay you guys, I won't hurt you. Look at that little baby, isn't he cute? They're enjoying their seed. He's watching me. Not too worried, are you? You don't fall. Aren't they gorgeous? See if I can come around this side so I can see their faces. Oops, there goes mum. It's alright mum, you can come back. No, nope, she's off. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to baby. Baby probably isn't scared of humans just yet. Are you baby? Well, it's alright, I'll just stay here, I won't hurt you. You're gonna go too? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Off they go into the darkness. <laughs> oh, that was fun. They'll be back. I'll see you later. G'day guys. Welcome back. I've got some new paints to try today. They are Montmartre Dimension Paints. And it clearly shows you on the bottle here the opacity I'll climb up here so you can see see that one there that's white titanium white and the circle is colored in so that's an opaque and over here this one's thalo blue and you can see that the circles half colored in so semi opaque all my colors today are opaque or semi opaque and I'll run through the colours with you shortly. So I'm just doing my usuals, my blues and greens, just to test out this new brand of paint. And I'm using my same pouring medium, the 70% glue, 30% water. The only thing that I've changed, because this is such a thick paint, um, I'll show you the... Oh, I've got one here that I've actually made up, because I used um, green and yellow to make lime. Look how thick it is. Like it just sits there. You can turn it upside down. It just hangs about. Look at that. Really thick. So I had to use two parts pouring medium to one part paint. Uh, when I use global, I use one to one. It's much thinner. Uh, so two to one is pretty good because, you know, it's a, it's a more expensive paint. So I'm using half as much, which is good. Uh, treadmill silicone, as usual. And I'm going to put in three drops. So in my cups here, I've got 60 grams of pouring medium, which is two ounces, and 30 grams of paint, which is one ounce. So that's two to one, and I'm just putting three drops of silicone oil in each, except for the white. The white's an opaque. I think, oh, the turquoise is opaque. I think the others are pretty much all semi-opaques. Not that it's going to make a lot of difference. I'm using silicone for oil, uh, for cells, so it's not really going to make a huge amount of difference. But I still do like to have a combination in my pores. I tend to get the semi-transparent rings around an opaque cell. I don't know why I'm stirring that one. It's got no oil in it. Give them a really good stir. Oh, look at that. Stirring way too much. All flew out. What that? Um, yeah, so I haven't tried these 
paints before and I just got the little bottles, the 250 mils. It's about, uh, it's about eight ounces, that one. Yeah, so we'll give them a go. Start layering. I'll do two layers as I always do. Now you've seen me use these colors before. And you know the issues I've been having, if you've been following me, you know the issues I've been having with some of my paints splitting. So we'll see what happens today, hey? So see how these compare. I've tried, um, well, I've tried Artist Loft paint and I've tried Liquitex Basics paint and the Global paint. And now I'm trying the Mart. I have also ordered, well, I received it actually, some chroma the a2 paints so they will be uh, trialing next see how they go some of these colors i've made it up myself because i only bought a few colors just to try um, and so i've had to make my own navy so i used the blue here the low blue and I just added just a tiny little blob of black to make it a navy blue and as I said the the lime green I just used my phthalo green and a little bit of yellow these two mix those two together a little bit of this a lot of that and that gave me this lovely lime color and then I made this one as well. It's kind of like my oh, Butterfingers today. It's kind of like my deep sea. It's dark greeny blue colour. And I used cobalt blue. Because I don't really like the cobalt blue actually by the looks of it. Um, so I used cobalt blue and a little bit of that uh, phthalo green. And I got that dark turquoisey ocean colour. And I think that was all. Yeah, I just made those extra two colours. Turquoise is just as it came out of the bottle. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm a bit nervous too, actually, because I'm not sure how these, this paint's going to react to my glue and water mix. Oh, the other thing, when I was mixing these, the first one I mixed, I just poured in the pouring medium, as I always do, the 60 grams of pouring medium, and added my paint, and it didn't mix very well. It was quite chunky, um, very, very similar to how the Liquitex Basics paints mix in. So I went to my usual way of how I mix the Liquitex Basics. I put in half the amount of pouring medium, so I did 30 grams of pouring medium, then I added my 30 grams of paint and gave that a really good stir till it became a nice smooth paste. And then I added my other 30 uh, grams of pouring medium and it became lovely and smooth and creamy consistency. So that's the best way. If you've got a really thick paint, don't just try and mix a little bit of paint in with a lot of pouring medium. It just won't happen. It'll just be all thick and chunky and grainy and you'll think, oh my God, I've got a, a bad batch of paint, but you haven't. You just need to add the paint to the smaller amount of pouring medium. It's like when you make a gravy or, you know, you've got to add a little bit of liquid to your powder, your gravy powder, uh, otherwise you get lumps. Same with your cheese sauce, you know, those bakers out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. You can't just add all your milk to your, your roux your butter and uh, flour mix. You have to add it slowly, otherwise you'll get lumpy cheese sauce, don't you? It's the same theory behind it. Add it slowly and you guys will be fine. All right, let's flip these over. One, two, three, four. I went to school, I learned how to count there 
a little bit of spillage. Um, so I think I've pretty much told you about my colours. There's the white and the phthalo blue. That's the turquoise and the cobalt I added with the actually that's what is that viridian it's a really dark green those two to get my lovely teal sort of a color look at it look at that I'm shaking it it's still sitting there it's really thick and then I used the viridian and the yellow to make my lime yeah so those are my colors Righto, let's stop dilly daddling about and see how these go. Please be nice. Spent a lot of money on my paint. Right, flip and drag. Whoa, that's bright, isn't it? <laughs> my goodness. Oh, I made a wiggle. Try to tip my cup over so I don't have anything falling from the top end and making a wiggle. So this is a 30 centimeter by 40 centimeter canvas. I didn't tell you guys that earlier. Uh, 12 by 16 inch and I know it needs between 500 and 600 grams of mixed paint for this size. I've got a little bit left but I'm not going to use it. I don't want to put any extras up. I'll be able to tilt that just fine and I've got some beautiful beautiful little cells popping up already got a little bit of a caterpillar thingy there well not really a caterpillar um, it's just where the silicone oil has been dragged across I might be able to just put my finger in it I don't really like doing that see now I've got a stripey that's okay now I'm going to tilt Halfway, as I always do. Um, get a stick in case I need a corner catcher. All set, righto, here we go. Tilting this way to cover there. Tilting back the other way to cover there and down a little bit here. I don't want to go over the edge just yet. Just want to make sure everything on the sides covered. Okay, I'm just going to help that a bit. I do want to do a pour. I've told you before. I want to do a pour where I just put a very, very thin layer of paint down first as a background. Um, and then do my flip and drag just to see if the paint flows a little bit better. Now the cells keep their shape a little bit better. I'll go over here and then just do that last little bit there. That lime's really dominant, isn't it? It's pretty though. I can let go of that. I don't know why I'm holding that. Just help that over. And then just tip ever so gently just to get that over and then that see that little blobby bit that I didn't like has gone over and then quickly lift it back up again so you don't lose excess paint over the edge pick up your canvas underneath don't touch the sides if you can possibly help it okay now I just want to cover this little bit here on the side and then I'll torch Take the weight down to where I want it to go and then over to that side. Gently, gently, slowly, slowly. No rush. Come back. See, I don't really have many cells at the moment, so I can move this paint quite easily around without having to worry about overstretching cells at this point of time. Now I'm going to torch my big boy torch here this one's nearly empty i can see lots and lots of bubbles i guess this is one of those brands of paint maybe that need to sit and rest because it's got a lot of bubbles in it it's probably 
the type of paint that I need to make the day before. I pick what I want to do, make up the paint the night before, and then come and pour. Uh, once it's had a chance to sit and get all those bubbles out, because there sure are a lot. And you can see how the you can see all the bubbles popping. See those little white dots that it's making, which isn't ideal because you don't really want little white dots. I've got too close there. I've got some little caterpillars happening. Pretty thick mix. It's funny, different paints just react differently. Like it's it's not any thicker than what I would use for my other paint pores. Um, but maybe they just, you know, this paint just reacts differently. It might it must be a little bit thicker because look how tiny my cells are that pop up. They're really quite small which indicates that my mix is thicker. If your cells are really small at this stage, then you've got quite a thick mix. Just leave that like that for a minute. And let it contemplate what it wants to do. I'm not sure if there's something in here or not. No. <laughs> I just ruined a cluster of cells for nothing. It looked as if there was something in there. It's probably just a bubble. So lots and lots of bubbles still that I can see. Definitely, definitely going to have to mix up my paint earlier. It's quite a lot of, got a little bit close there. See all those caterpillars? I'm going to have to try and get rid of those. Okay, I don't think these cells are going to grow anymore. They've already popped up to the surface. They are tiny. Okay, I just have to go down there now. So because I'm only going a short distance, my cells aren't going to really grow very big. So that way and this way. So I'm heading down to the corners. I want to stretch them out a little bit. I may take that clustery corner right off the edge because there's a lot of a lot of caterpillars in that. Off you go. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for coming. Thank you for going. Hmm. Looking good. Now I'm going to bring the weight of the paint back to the middle and I'm going to change directions and head for that corner. Slowly, slowly, the mix is pretty thick. It's taken a while to get over there. Just help it along a little bit. Over you go. Go, you good thing. to the middle and straighten up some of my lines you know I like straight lines okay very nice look at my gorgeous cells lovely cells lovely shapes now these up here, see this, they're quite small, they're quite clustered there. And these ones here are quite big and stretched. So what I need to try and do is move this paint down a little bit so that they can maybe grow just a touch. And we try not to move them too much. You can, if you're watching this corner, it's not moving. This paint here is moving, but here it's not really moving. See that? Not really moving a lot. But I do want to stretch some of those cells out if I can. So I'll just keep moving my paint. I'm going to get rid of this that blobby cell there. And then I think that will be enough movement.
of paint. Yeah, you can go too. Oh, there was something that just went over there. Blob of something. Okay. That's better. Let's bring the weight of the paint back just a little bit. Wow, I love how that white's shown up. And I did manage to stretch this out a little bit. There's on the side here, that hasn't really moved, but that's okay. Got a nice combination of bigger cells and smaller cells. I could have actually um, torched a little bit earlier in my, my tilting, instead of tilting to cover pretty much the whole thing, um, because my cells are were well, quite small at the beginning, I could have uh, torched earlier and then finished tilting. That would have made my tiny little cells up here and here grow more, but they are beautiful, beautiful cells. I won't touch that. Gorgeous cells. Um, there's my little tool here. I'm just going to fix up the corners and then I'll take you down for a close up. And guess what you guys, can you see? There is no split paint, not a one. Nothing at all has split. So I am absolutely delighted with that. So tired of scraping canvases. I did a couple of really big ones. You Hopefully you would have seen them and end up scraping them because of split paint. Do you guys remember that? They were huge, huge canvases. And uh, yeah, it's just such a waste of time and money. You know, sometimes you think, oh, maybe I'll just spend a little bit more and get a better quality paint that's more highly pigmented. And then you don't have to waste so much paint. You just do a painting and voila, it is beautiful. Fiddling again. What's that? There's something in there. Go. All right. Stop fiddling and take it down for a close up. I'm really happy with that, you guys. Hope you guys can see. Look at my hands. Let me get rid of these. Okay, let's take you down for a close up. Oops, oh, nearly fell off my ladder backwards. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so hopefully you can see this now that I'm bringing you down for a, a closer view. Look at those cells. Aren't they amazing cells? Got rings around them. Some blue background, got some lime background, got some turquoise background. Got, love those white cells. Those, there's white rings around those cells. My navy hasn't split. Got lovely navy cells there. Turquoise cells, lime green, so, so pretty. I'll show you this top corner here. Look at those. Really nice. So, Montmart, happy with you. Um, I only got a few of the 250ml tubs just to try. So I can do I can do a couple more pours and um, then I will try out love that corner there. And I'll try out the chroma, the A2 in the chroma and see how that goes. I can buy those in two litre bottles, but I've only got some little ones as well just to try while they were on, on sale. 
got them for four ninety five each for the little tubs. Um, I'll just zoom over here. There we go. There they are. A two. So, oh, they're a bit dusty, aren't they? <laughs> That's probably why they were on sale. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll try them out and see how they go. And um, yeah, no harm in trying some different brands, is there? But yeah, really happy with this. Happy, happy, nothing split. Yay. All right, thanks for watching. I don't know if you can get these. Are these paints worldwide, Montmartre? I, I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. Let me know if if you guys overseas can can get them um, and give them a go they they work fine they work beautifully in fact with the glue and water mix so yeah thanks for watching i'll shut up now <laughs> i'm excited i'll see you for the next pour bye for now